In the last episode, we made sure our cache stays fresh by clearing when data changes. But now, the next user has to wait for the cache to rebuild. I'm Harris from Laravel News, and today we're pre-warming our cache so users always get fast responses. Let's get right to it. Let me show you the problem. When cache is cleared, someone has to pay the price, right? Let's go to our routes. Let's remove the old benchmark we had. We don't need that for now. And let's add a new route to test this out. I'm gonna copy this from here. What we have here is the flexible cast service, and we also have the cast invalidation service. We run two benchmarks. The first one will get us the warm time from our flexible cast service, while the second one, after we clear the dashboard cast, will get us again the dashboard report. But this time will be marked as cold, which means that since we already cleared out our dashboard cast, the next request in line will need to take some more time in order to be stored in cache as well. Let's go in our browser and run this. So look at that. Cold cache takes 341 milliseconds, while warm cache only takes 0.66 milliseconds. That's a huge difference. So someone always gets the slow experience in this case. We're testing flexible cache directly since that's the persistent layer will be warming. Before we warm, let's understand our CAS architecture. We have two layers at this point. Layer number one is memoized CAS service, which we saw in episode nine. This is in-memory CAS per request only, and it lives only during one HTTP request. It cannot be warmed from console commands. While flexible CAS service that we saw earlier in episode eight is our persistent CAS, goes to Redis, data survives across all requests and this is what we need to warm in this case. This is why we will be warming the flexible cast service, if you're wondering. We'll warm the flexible cast service because it's persistent. Warming memoization doesn't really help since it's request scoped. Let's go back to our editor, open up sidebar, and let's create a service that pre-fills the persistent cast. So let's go to app, services, create a service, and let's call this cast warming service, in this case. So like we mentioned, we need to make this about the flexible cast service. Let's create our constructor. So construct flexible cast service. Let's import that in. Let's add it up here as well. And also down here. Keep in mind, like we mentioned in the previous episode, we're going to take care of the syntax here and make it more modern using rector PHP in one of the next videos. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead now and create a function called warm dashboard cast. So let's create a new public function, warm dashboard. Again, we're gonna pass string period set to month to begin with. And then the result here will be the flexible cast service calling the dashboard report for the period we have, month in this case. Let's return the results. The results will be period. The next one will be when this was warmed up. So we know when our data was in memory. So to date time string, and let's now also add our data points down here. This will be the total number of data points we had in result. So add a count, result, let's close this up. And that's basically it. Another pretty important thing we would like to have is we will need to make sure that we warp all dashboard periods, which is today, week and month. This is the basic ones we have so far. So let's Let's create a new public function again, warm all dashboard cast. Um, let's have a results array and a periods array. And we're gonna have again, today, week, and month. Those three. Go up. Then we're gonna loop over those periods, of course. And let's add in our results array, the result for each period. So it will go over today, week, and month, and it will store those based on the key, on the period key in this case. So what we need in this case is to call war dashboard per the given period, and then we return the results. We could also add some more smart warming, which means that we can only warm, for example, frequently accessed periods. So let's say that if the monthly period is the one that's most frequently accessed, and we can warm up, for example, the monthly period, only based on the business hour. So let's say from eight to six, we can do that. We can do all sorts of things, to be honest. So 
let's now go into our CAS invalidation service. So CAS invalidation service that we built in the previous episode. And let's update our invalidation service to automatically warm the CAS after clearing. So let's create a constructor here. We're gonna call this import our CAS warming service. Again, I'm gonna import this top and then down here. Let's fix this. Let's, and we're ready. Let's scroll down and let's create a new function down here. We're gonna call this one refresh dashboard cache. Refresh dashboard cache. We're gonna pass the period. Let's default that to month again. And here we'll call two things. The first one will be to clear our dashboard cache based on the period. So we will clear the dashboard cache based on the current period. And then we will warm our service up again. So we'll call warming service and then we refresh the dashboard cache based on the same period. And just like we had this clear all dashboard caches here, let's build another function down here. We're going to call this refresh all dashboard caches. And we will call again two functions. The first one will be clear all dashboard caches, the one we saw up here. And then we will also warm our cache again. So this warming service, warm all dashboard caches. So now by calling refresh all dashboard caches in this case, we will clear up all our dashboard casts and then we will warm them up again. Now, when we clear casts, we immediately refill this. Users will never hit call casts. Let's go to our observer. So order observer, let's go down, create it here. And instead of clearing our dashboard casts here, we will instead change all this to refresh dashboard casts. Again, we'll keep the same period, today, week and month. The observer now refreshes casts instead of just clearing it, which makes more sense. But we haven't really added the final missing piece. We need to create a command to add this cache warming on schedule. Let's go in our terminal and let's create pit artisan make command. We'll call this warm dashboard cache. Let's open that up. Let's remove the default signature here. Let's call this cache warm dashboard. And then we will also have the period available. So let's default that to all in this case. Let's also change the description. What this does is it warm dashboard cast. Perfect, let's scroll down. We now need to, again, import cast warming service. Let's do that right here. Let's grab the period from the argument. Let's add size info here. It's gonna say that we're warming dashboard cast. So we need to do a couple of checks. As you remember, we added this period set to all up here. So we need to check that if period is set to all, then we will actually get the results based on our warming service. And we are gonna call warm all dust broadcasts because that's what we need. Otherwise, if it's not to all, we're gonna call the warm dust broadcast based on the period we have identified up here. Last but not least, let's add another info message. So this info, I'm gonna say cas, cas warmed. And let's return our command. It's now successful. So this doesn't really block anything from our side. Now we can warm cas manually with PHP Artisan cas warm dashboard. We can even set this up in our console to have it running on a daily schedule. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go to console.php. Let's add schedule one, and we are gonna call this CAS warm dashboard all, which is exactly what we have here in our command. Remember CAS warm dashboard, and then we pass the period, which is set to all in this case. Let's remove the callback here. We don't really need it. Let's call this daily at, let's say seven, AM. Let's bring this down. Perfect. And if, for example, you would like to have this cast warm up for a month because it's your most busy period, dashboard period that everybody uses during business hours mostly, we can add another command. So let's just copy that down here. Come back here. We're going to do exactly the same cast warm dashboard based on the month in this case, but this will cast hourly instead of daily and it will be between, um, let's say, 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Nice. This way we make sure that our cast pre-warms before our users arrive. And don't forget that 
you can also add this in your deployment script. You can add cast warming to your deployment process inside Laravel Forge, for example. This ensures your first users after deployment get fast responses and don't hit this weird cold response. We've built a complete production-ready casting system. We're now down from 340 milliseconds, almost, down to less than a millisecond. So with automatic invalidation and pre-warming, your users will always get lightning fast responses in this case. In the next episode, we are going to see the complete optimization journey we had so far. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Laravel News, and hit this hype button in your mobile app. See you in the next one.